The forest of Elkhorn, Wisconsin, lay shrouded in mystery, its ancient trees whispering secrets to the wind. It was here that a legendary creature had taken up residence, leaving behind a trail of fascination and terror for those who dared to venture into its domain. They called it the Beast of Bray Road. As we set out on our journey at dusk, the sun's descent cast long shadows across the rural landscape like skeletal fingers reaching for the sky. The air was heavy with the scent of damp earth and decaying leaves, a primal aroma that spoke of secrets buried beneath the surface. We were drawn to this place by an insatiable curiosity, our footsteps quiet on the forest floor as we followed the winding path of Bray Road. The road itself was a serpent, twisting through the woods like a dark, serpentine entity. I think I found it. As we drove down its length, our headlights casting eerie silhouettes on the trees, we couldn't shake the feeling that we were being watched. The locals called it Bray Road, a nickname born from an old Native American legend about a creature said to roam these woods, its howls echoing through the forest like the cries of the damned. We spoke with those who claimed to have seen the beast, a hunter who had spotted it in the woods, its eyes glowing like lanterns in the dark, a family who saw it lurking near their farmhouse at dawn, its massive frame casting a shadow on the ground. Each story was a thread in the tapestry of this legend, weaving together to form a narrative that was both captivating and unsettling. But we weren't just here to hear tales, we were on a mission to uncover the truth, to find out what drove this creature to roam these woods, and what secrets it might be hiding. We searched for signs of evidence, tracks, scat, any indication that this monster might be more than a mere myth. And then, suddenly, we found it a massive set of paw prints, deep and wide, etched into the earth as if the creature had just passed through. It was as if the beast had left us a message, a calling card for those brave enough to follow in its footsteps. We felt a shiver run down our spines as we gazed upon this sign, our hearts pounding with anticipation. As night deepened, we ventured further into the woods, our senses on high alert. The trees loomed above us like sentinels, their branches creaking ominously in the wind. And then, out of the corner of our eye, we saw it a flash of movement, a fleeting glimpse of something massive and terrifying. We didn't see the creature itself, but we felt its presence, a primal fear that coursed through our veins like liquid fire. It was as if the beast had awakened, its eyes fixed upon us with an unblinking gaze. We froze, paralyzed by fear, as the world around us dissolved into chaos. And then, just as suddenly as it had begun, everything was still. The creature vanished into the darkness, leaving behind only a whisper of what might have been. We breathed a collective sigh of relief, our hearts still pounding with excitement and fear, for in that moment we knew that we had crossed a threshold, one that would forever change the way we saw the world. As we made our way back to town, the darkness seemed to press in around us like a physical presence. We couldn't shake the feeling that we were being watched, that the beast was waiting for us just out of sight, but we knew that we had uncovered something special, a secret, that would forever be hidden in the shadows of Elkhorn, Wisconsin. The legend of the Beast of Bray Road would live on, a testament to the power of the unknown and the primal fears that lurked within us all. And as for us, we had caught a glimpse of the truth, a glimpse that would haunt us for the rest of our lives.